him. So let me explain how my how my Smurf deck works. So any Smurf deck needs strong cards and weak cards. Now, if you have any level one cards, do not upgrade them. Do not level them up. Leave level one cards you need this now why do you need this because the game basically counts on average when you go to the battle so that of course only works in party now you cannot go to normal battle this is very important to remember you cannot use a smurf deck in normal battle you must use it in party mode when you go to party mode and you battle the game will see your deck not your king level but your deck and then make an average level of your cards now obviously if you have let's say only one or two high level cards but the other ones are like let's say level five level six level four now that already harms you. What you want is all level 1 cards. All level 1. And then you want 3 level 4 cards. Now, here is where a lot of noobs screw up. Your level 13 cards, or as high as they can be, must be tank cards. Now what are tank cards? I will show you so let's go to cards now bowler can be considered as a tank and uh, he is a good one because he does attack you know pretty good but his health is the questionable thing he has only you know at the highest level 2300 health the second one that we could consider is Royal Knight. Now, Royal Knight will on level 13 have about 4000 health. The problem with it is though it only targets, you know, structures. Now, let's go to Sparky. This, some people might consider a tank, but it is not a tank, it is a strong offense card. Lava Hound. Now this is a tank card because it has high health. But its damage output is so weak that it's not worth it. So then you consider like Giant. Alright, it has really good health. Its health is on level, you know, 13, probably somewhere around 5,000. But it only attacks the structures. And on top of that, its damage output is not all that. And it also attacks very slow. So let's keep on going. Now, a couple of tank cards you might consider are Pekka. Now, Pekka has, you know, very good health. It will have around four and something thousand on level 13 which is good and the good thing about it is that it has a crazy amount of damage it does the second card that you might consider is golem now as we know this is the ultimate tank card it has crazy amounts of health but and this is a big but you must consider how to also build your entire smurf deck so it's also offensive and defensive. Now what does this mean? I for example use Mega Knight because it has the drop damage, you know, or jump damage of 6500. Its area damage is about 325. But the main point is that he has almost 5,000 hit points. Now this is very important because he can last. 
You need somebody that lasts. Then we have giant skeleton and balloon. Now why these two? Because obviously balloon is not really a tank card. Its hit points are only, you know, 2000. But here's the important card, uh, important part. Balloon does crazy amount of damage. Now, if you count the every three seconds, it does on level 13, 11 and a half hundred damage. Then you also have to count the death damage of about 400. Now why is this important? It's because it can destroy weak units once the bomb goes off after the balloon has been destroyed. So basically you want to use balloon and giant skeleton because they both drop bombs. Now the good thing about giant skeleton is that this is probably the best card to use for smurfing. Why? Because it has 4000 hit points on level 13 but its death damage is 1300 almost let's say 1400. This is very important because it can do 250 damage every one and a half seconds. That means that in six seconds it will do thousand damage. Now why is this also important is because it's the best counter card for Sparky, uh, any card almost, you know, because it will destroy many cards with its death damage. Now the hit points make sure that, you know, a lot of enemy troops will gather around your card. So now let's try this, the Smurf deck that I built. Let's test it. And I will show you how to use it. Now we're going to do a triple battle, um, triple elixir battle. Now obviously the point of a smurf deck is you get lower level enemies so or opponents. This makes your job easier. Now I start with I start with John Skeleton because it's now blocking the way. Now this guy has a good strategy of using flyers but as you can see that's where the bombs come to use. See when you use the balloon and giant skeleton now these are just carving the way. They are carving the way open. As their bombs explode that makes this guy's job so much harder because now he doesn't know what to do. Like, is he going to put troops, not put troops? What is he going to do? Now, he's going for speed, but I'm going for tank units. That's why I win so easily. Because on top of having tank units that can withstand a lot of damage, they also have death bombs. Balloon has a death bomb, and giant skeleton has a death bomb. Now, these will clear the way once the unit has been destroyed. So they serve two purposes. Now again, level nine guy. So let's see. I'm gonna start with John Skeleton again. Now I let it go a little bit further and as you can see now he put the musketeers on the right. So I'm just gonna let that be. And I'm gonna start building on the left. Now why is this important? It's because now I'm, you know, giving the wrong impression about what I'm going to do. So now I can focus on attacking on the right again. See, I gave the impression that I was attacking on the left, but I go back to right. Now having tank units, he can do whatever he wants, but they are going to advance. Because they have so much health points that you just simply cannot stop them. And once the death bombs go off, those will clear the way, as we saw right there. So let's keep on going, you know, a couple of other matches just to show off how to use the deck. Let's go again. 
All right, we got a level eight guy now. This guy practically has no chances, so let's go on with it. Again, giant skeleton first. Now I'm gonna drop the skeleton barrel so it goes about the same speed. And now I'm gonna drop the balloon in the middle of them. Because this means that the giant skeleton is gonna protect it. Now as we can see this guy basically just gave up because he was like overwhelmed and yeah, he decided like it's not even worth his time. Which is a good decision because he literally has no chance of winning. It is important to use tactics. You cannot just attack straight forward. That makes you predictable. You want to use tactics. Now this is a good battle. This guy is level 11. So this will give me at least a minimal challenge. Now I'm going to go with my decoy cards first. Then I'm going to drop the balloon in front. Now the Mega Knight will take care of the Hog Rider. As we can see right there. Now the balloon is doing pretty good over here. And now we can put the giant skeleton to back it up. And as the balloon's bomb explodes, that clears the path. And now <laughs> he has no chance from this moment on, literally. So we just keep on going. And I'm building the pressure. Now I'm gonna block on the left with the giant skeleton. Now, as you can see, because these are tank cards, they just keep on rolling because they have so much health. And there it is. And my strategy of using only level, uh, level 1 cards and then only level 13 cards make this the ultimate smurf deck. You want the ultimate. Don't make a smurf deck if it's like half-assed. You must not you know put your cards up this is important so when you see new cards come in to the game that you might not have any use for do not upgrade them you want those level one cards so here we go again giant skeleton again the barrel and now i'm gonna attack from high and at the meantime, I'm going to go with the left with Mega Knight. Put this guy here. Put this guy right here. Oh, now he has problems. Now he doesn't know what to do. Now he really doesn't know what to do. See, that's called strategy. I made it look like I was going through the right. But when I saw he was blocking right, I went through left. Very simple. There we go. And now we can just add up. Now he has literally no chances. No chances whatsoever. Oh yeah, and the bomb will clear now. The path. And here we go. We can use John Skeleton also for other purposes like clearing and defending here. There we go. See, this guy is just trying to save his butt, but he cannot. Like, he has no chances of winning, his, of winning this game because I can just pile up on him. I can just keep on piling up on the guy. And as much as he would probably like to do something, he really cannot do anything. Except just take it. And it must be annoying, but it is how it is. He has no chances whatsoever here. Because those tank cards will just keep on eating away. And eating away. There we go. See? He had no chance in the end. They can only defend, but they are defending backwards. They are not defending forward. Now what does that mean? When you defend backwards, that means you're losing ground all the time. You're losing ground all the time. So I'm advancing all the time. Even though you're defending, 
I'm advancing. So at no point did he manage to advance. He was just defending backwards towards his towers. So my pressure was building up and building up. And here we go. Now this guy has the Lava Hound. This is a big mistake. Now I get it. He might have an all, like all air deck. But even that is not going to in the end help him. Alright, now he has a good strategy with the balloon. And with the clone. But, I also have a strategy here. And my strategy is better than his. See? He cannot. He can try, but he cannot do anything in the end because my cards will always beat these guys' cards. Now he had a good one. He had like a, almost like an air deck. That gave me a small challenge, but like I said, they are defending backwards. I am defend, uh, I am advancing and they are defending backwards. They are not defending forward, so they are not able to create any offense, therefore. Alright, now let's start from the right again. So this is me just now checking how's the landscape. I'm going to see what is he going to do. I'm just going to see what is he going to do. Now I'm waiting for the Mega Knight to come. Alright, now at this point I'm going to drop this little fellow here to block the way. And I'm going to go with my Mega Knight on the left. This is really bad for him by the way. Because now he knows he's screwed up. There we go. No chance. Now once again, this guy is just defending backwards. There we see the first hit almost, it almost hit. Now this guy has like a fairly good strategy, fairly good I say, not, not the best strategy I've ever seen but you know, a fairly good one. There we go. Now he's starting to have problems. And there's the first hit. This is where all of his problems are going to start. I'm just going to keep on blocking. And I'm going to keep on blocking. Now I'm going to wait for them to all explode. And my balloon. There we go. Now this is a tight one and we're going to do this in time. Yes. Now he has practically already lost one tower. There we go. Defend. Now I'm going to use this balloon to defend. Alright. And that one is going to go near enough. Now this is going to open the right side for me. This guy's actually playing pretty good. I have to give him some props. He's playing pretty good. But unfortunately that's not good enough with me. Now here we go again. See he's, he managed to defend neutral for a while but now he's already defending backwards. And that's because of my tank units. He has only one tank unit, his Mega Knight. Other than the Mecha Knight, he doesn't really have anything to go on with. So I can just keep spamming my tank units and eating away. Now he actually managed to... This is the first guy actually who managed to stop me. And he got saved by the bell. He got saved by the bell there. If I had like 3 seconds more, he had lost all of his towers. So this loser managed to actually defend pretty well. But... Like I said, three more seconds and he had lost that king tower. Anyhow, I hope this helped you guys to realize how to build a smurf deck and how to use a smurf deck. Take care guys. Bye.